Arai can trace its history back to 1937 when Hirotaki Arai established a hat manufacturing company. By 1950, frustrated by the lack of helmet manufacturers in Japan, he started to manufacture his own motorcycle helmets. The company has now grown to be one of the most respected helmet brands in the world, and yet they are still family owned. The current CEO, Michio Arai, is Hirotaki's son. Arai have also stuck to the traditional principles they had when they started, and that is to build the safest helmet that they possibly can. Most important rover helmets, that's protection. The helmets are almost 100% man-made, and I say almost as they do use a laser cutting robot to cut the visor opening and chin vent holes just to ensure greater accuracy. Every other part of the process is done by hand and from start to finish a helmet takes approximately 18 man hours to complete. Arai deduced early on that round and smooth objects offer not only strength but also could offer better ability to disperse kinetic energy in an impact. The term glancing off is one you'll hear from any Arai technician or indeed retailer and this refers to the ability for the helmet to glance off and prevent undue torsional rotation or sudden deceleration. This glancing off leads to of course much better impact absorption. Arai use the R75 shape in all of their helmets and this refers to the 75 degree curve of the shell. Arrow I believe this is the optimal shape to give the best amount of glancing off as well as to help with aerodynamics. Okay so on to the Profile V and why this is different and why in the title I mentioned is this a helmet for the masses. Let's just have a quick look at the technical details of the helmet itself. Now one of the key features of the Profile V is that it still retains that R75 shape but they have widened the aperture by 5mm both in width and in length. And that could make a key difference to quite a lot of people that have maybe tried our eyes before, but maybe haven't found them quite as easy to get on with. Now, I absolutely love my Tor X4 helmet once I've got it on. My ears are not a big fan of it going on and going off. Because of that R75 shape, historically our helmets have kind of followed that egg curve and have had quite narrow openings. And that is what Arai are trying to address with the Profile V, and I think they've done a great job with it. That five millimeters, it doesn't sound a lot, but that extra width and length makes this a much easier helmet to pull on and off. So if you've tried an Arai helmet before and just felt that they were a little bit snug, a little bit too difficult to get on and off, this may be the one that changes your mind about them. I have to say, comfort-wise, it's been fantastic, and just the ability to pull it on and off without trying to rip your ears off makes a big difference. Okay, so outside of the change in the base of the shell shape, what do you get with the Profile V? A lot of features are carried over from other helmets in the range and from other helmets higher up in the range. So you do get the VAS, the Variable Access Visor. This is the VAS V Visor. It comes with a Pinlock 120 in the box. In that visor, which is a feature of RI helmets, you have the brow vents. These just open up and allow air to flow through into the little ports that you have inside, which gives a really nice bit of air flow through sort of around the temples and around the top of the head, but keeps it away from your eyes. One thing I noticed with this helmet, I do have the brow vents on my Torx 4, but because it's a bigger shield, uh, they are a bit higher up and I don't see them. With this, when I first put it on, it looks a bit like you can see your own eyebrows which is a little bit weird to start with, but you soon get used to that and then actually you don't really notice it. In terms of the rest of the ventilation, you've got two intakes at the top with a little switch to open and close those. Small intakes, but you do notice the air going into them. The shape of this helmet does draw air into those nicely. And of course, these intakes and the vent cover are designed to break off in a crash. So again, we were talking about glancing off earlier on. If you do have a spill in these, so that these don't grab and put any undue torsional uh, strain on the helmet, these were designed to just break off and make the helmet as smooth as possible. The chin vent works really well. It has three positions. 
closed. The first opening uh, pushes air up to the visor as a demist option. And then when you open it fully, the air goes straight through uh, into the face uh, to help cool the rider down. And this works really well. I've found I've tried it on my Tiger with the screen. And although that does slow the airflow down a little bit, it still works. On a naked bike, you get a really nice good amount of airflow coming through here. There's no option to sort of close that off in the front. But obviously, if you don't go all the way down, then you don't get the air coming through there. But what I do like to see is there is mesh on there, so you don't get any stray insects making their way through, which you can get on other helmets. In terms of exhaust vents, where well, you have an always open exhaust vent at the rear here, two vents at the side here, and you've also got that vent built into the neck roll, which has helped to try and get some of the heat out from inside the helmet. So in total, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six exhaust vents to the rear of this helmet. The helmet retains the excellent facial contour system. So you have these cheek pads that sort of come up under the chin. And I have to say they are incredibly comfortable. These of course can be removed as can the a proportion of the helmet. The whole interior can't come out, but the cheek pads and this gold cap can come out and they can be machine washed. Uh, to give your helmet a freshen up. There is space in these for speakers. There are little pockets in the cheek pads. So you've had a little bit of a history lesson with our eye. I've talked you through the technical details of the Profile V, but what's it actually like to ride in and does this change in the aperture really make a difference? For me, that is a really big improvement. Putting on and taking this helmet off is much easier than any of the other Arai helmets I've tried. And I can only hope that Arai introduces into more of their helmets, particularly maybe if there's a Tour X5 coming, where we can get a little bit more room in that. That would make that a killer helmet for me. As it is, I'm, I love it, but I'm still kind of searching for my perfect adventure style helmet. One question that always comes up, obviously, is how noisy is the helmet? And that's very subjective because that will depend on what bike you're riding, uh, what clothes you're wearing, all sorts of factors can determine how much noise is transmitted through the helmet. I always ride with earplugs. I'm riding in this with my soft squidgy earplugs. I had no issues whatsoever. So in conclusion, is this the Arai helmet for the masses? Uh, yes, I think it could be. Obviously, if an Arai shape doesn't fit your head, it doesn't fit your head. But if you've tried an Arai shape and thought, this is actually pretty comfortable, but I hate taking it on and off, this may be one to have a look at. And the other thing that makes this, I think, a, a appeal to the masses is the price point. Now, you're not getting necessarily all of the features that you get from the high-end helmet, so things like the fully removable interior, but you do get that incredible build quality, the safety, and obviously we've gone through the features here. So it is a featured packed helmet, but this means that you can also get an Arai helmet at under 400 pounds. This is the Frost Black, which is a really nice color. This retails at around the 370 mark, and they go up to about 450, depending on what kind of graphics you want. But there are some graphic ones as well that come in below the 400 pound mark. And I'll put a link in the description uh, for you to go away and, and have a look at the range that they do. But given the ease on and off, uh, the price and the overall performance of the helmet, I have to say this is a cracking piece of kit. And if you are in the market for a new full face helmet, go and have a look at the Arai Profile V. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it useful. If you did, hit that thumbs up button down there. If you want to see more of these, click subscribe and also make sure you tick that little notification bell so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. And all that leaves me to say is thanks for watching and until next time, take care, ride safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.